Bon appetit. Oh, I had your crocheting stuff. Oh, yeah. Good morning. Good morning. This weekend, we are going on a day trip to San Diego. Yay. We're going to do some interesting things in San Diego. First, we are going to Cabrillo National Monument, which is, I believe, it has like a little trail, old lighthouse that overlooks the Pacific Ocean. Mm -hmm. So it's supposedly a very pretty sight. And then after that, we're going to go to Little Italy in San Diego. There's going to be lots of galleries, shops. It's a small, fun town to walk around in so i'm really excited to see what they have there and then lastly the train that runs along the coastline from and to san diego i think finished repairing last month or something so we have the opportunity to ride on the train so exciting fun day in san diego today let's Yay. go Cabrillo National Monument is located at the southern tip of the Point Loma Peninsula in San Diego, California. It was established in 1913 to commemorate the landing of Juan Rodriguez Cabrillo at San Diego Bay in 1542. This event marked the first time a European expedition had set foot on what later became the west coast of the United States. The monument is significant as it commemorates Cabrillo's voyage and the cultural interaction that occurred between American Indians and the Spanish and Portuguese explorers. It offers a view of San Diego's harbor and skyline, as well as Coronado and Naval Air Station North Island. You like the view? Yeah, it's so relaxing. Yeah, not it's a lot of people, huh? As for the lighthouse tower, the Old Point Loma Lighthouse is the highest point in the park and has been a San Diego icon since 1855. The lighthouse was closed in 1891 and a new one opened at a lower elevation because fog and low clouds often obscured the light at its location 129 meters above sea level. The old lighthouse is now a museum and visitors may enter it and view some of the living areas. I think people should check out the Cabrillo National Monument because it offers historical significance, natural beauty, hiking and outdoor activities, and a visitor center. What'd you see? No money, no <laughs> view. <laughs> made it into Little Italy in San Diego. Little Italy in San Diego is a vibrant neighborhood that was once home to a flourishing tuna fishing industry and generations of Italian families. Italian food. Yummy. Bon appetit. Some reasons why people should visit Little Italy include its dynamic culinary hotspot, craft brew stops and urban wineries, home design stores, art galleries, and residential units. Whether you're a foodie, a shopaholic, or someone who enjoys exploring new places, Little Italy has something for everyone. Oh, they had your crocheting stuff. Oh yeah, my manly crocheting stuff. It's like we're in Italy. Yeah, is this the closest to Italy as you've ever been? No, I've actually been to Italy. Their gelato was good. Well, we'll try that gelato here too. I went to Venice. I was in the canal.
So you're getting... There's two different pistachios. One has dairy and the other one doesn't. Oh, look at the salt of the shot. on me. So we're at the Santa Fe Depot Center. We're going to catch that train over there at 3.20 p.m. And we're gonna go on it for an hour. And yeah, apparently it goes alongside the ocean. So it's gonna be a beautiful and nice twin view. Just got off that Oceanside Transit Center. Basically took a nap. A nap for an hour was really nice. I feel a lot refreshed now. Now we're going to catch a bus to go pack home. Let's go home. The trip from San Diego. What did we like and what did we not like? I mean, for me, it was kind of a struggle because I didn't speak any Chinese and the tour guide and almost everybody there only spoke either Mandarin or Cantonese. So. Yeah. Well, it is your first time joining like an all Chinese robot. Bus. Yeah. It's not their fault. It's just, you know, my own uh, limitation here. Uh, obviously, I chose to join this tour. So first stop we went to was the Cabrillo National Monument. Mofi. Um, <laughs> Okay, the Cabrillo National Monument, mm -hmm. the scenic point was nice. Yeah, it was. You could call it like Panorama Hill. <laughs> you could see everything about San Diego. That's true. The only downfall was that it was cloudy. So. Yeah, I mean, but I feel like if it was too sunny, it'd be a little too hot. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. I thought it was fine. The lighthouse is open. We got to at least look in it and stuff. Unfortunately, we couldn't go to the top, but it was fine. Visitor center, uh, some interesting historical tidbits and stuff. After that, we went to Little Italy. That was actually my favorite part of the trip, being immersed in Italian food, mostly. I mean, we only had the, the one restaurant and the gelato, right? It's not like we're big wine drinkers or anything, but we did see like some wine uh, shops where you can just like sit down and have wine. Oh, the food we ate, it was not Italian, right? In no, our it was- I think it was more authentic than what we usually have, you know what I mean? The pastas that we got, I wasn't very familiar with the flavors. It tasted very weird mm -hmm. and unusual to me. Just not something I'm used to. Did you like it though? I think it's because I didn't grow up eating that type of food. So the flavor to me, I don't prefer it because I'm, I'm not used to it. That's why. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like mine, the lobster cheese one. I think you like that one better too, right? I did. Yeah, I did definitely different flavors, but no. I thought it was good. I think the dish you picked was just not to your liking. That's my thing. You know what I mean? It was different, but it was good. I gained a pound <laughs> after eating the pot. Too many carbs. Yeah. And the gelato. Yeah, the gelato. We got the dairy and also the oatmeal option for so the oat milk. Yeah, I think the oat milk one was better than the vegan one. The guy suggested that that one would probably be better, that pistachio flavor, because I don't know why he said it. But to me, it tasted sweeter. Sweeter and saltier mm -hmm. than the dairy option. Yeah. It was different. It was good, though. Yeah, but yeah, the small scoop was like dumb or something. I mean, the meal was like 50 something dollars. So what do you expect? Yeah. And then after that, we took the Amtrak from San Diego to Oceanside. I would say the view was okay. I kind of thought we would mostly be seeing ocean view, but it, not really. Yeah, and only some parts of it. I mean, there were like six stops. The longest traveling between two stations was like 20 minutes. Yeah, you didn't see the ocean most of the time, I would say. A lot of um, hills in the way or buildings. Or little cities. Yeah. I mean, it was an interesting experience, but I don't know if I would recommend it. So it was an hour, right, from San Diego to Oceanside. I know this isn't the purpose, but if you were just to drive it, it would be like a 30 minute drive or less. And it took an hour, right? I don't know. It's just maybe I'm too much of a hater. Yeah, I slept for the majority. Well, the seating was weird. Like us sit across from a set of other people when we're facing them. 
I don't know. I couldn't spread my leg. <laughs> she couldn't uh, man spread. <laughs> yeah, I had to keep it tight to my body. But yeah, thankfully, there were two women sitting across us. So to me, I felt fine. But if it was a man, I would feel kind of uncomfortable as if we were really close. For me, I didn't think it was worth it. Mm -hmm. I don't know if he's being naughty now because it's uh, sundown. Okay, bye. bye. <laughs> Oh my god. I don't know where she went. <gasps> oh my god.